it wasn't, it certainly wasn't fun. I mean, you know, as, as Bill Bruford says in the film, you know, that you, um, you're probably going to come out there winded and wounded and it's going to be lumpy and it's going to be bumpy. It is the dream band viewed from outside. It's the band you could do anything you wanted to in it. Tell him he's talking a load of shite. This is the first King Crimson where there's not at least one member in the band that actively resents my presence, which is astonishing. Within the King Crimson context, and this is a film about King Crimson more than it is a film about Robert Fripp, I think it's important to state that, is that whilst he's an inordinately determined, committed and talented individual, King Crimson seems to me, I can't speak for him, uh, to be something that he created because he, he was aware that he could not do it all himself and that King Crimson itself is Robert plus other people. It's not just Robert. So, so I think to have that, that level of, of power, creative power if you like, but also to recognize the necessity of having other people in there to make it even bigger speaks to a certain kind of creative humility which makes a great art, I think. You could trust a horse, you could trust a dog, but you could never trust a fucking guitar player. I love you, Robert. I'm sorry I broke your heart. I'm sorry. That makes me livid. Some of us went through hell. It was you told. I can't take this. One point I just walked out. I came back from making some of that music, my hair had fallen out. You know, if, if there is a crimson gene, it's one that mutates. You know, it doesn't it doesn't stay the same. You know, it's a it's an evolutionary gene, and I think that's you know it's that's well summed up by making a distinction between the notion of progressive, which implies change and forward movement, and prog, which is this very specific box into which bands put themselves I think you know and they and they put themselves in that box by not changing and by just constantly delivering the immediate expectations of the audience without sort of and there's conflict inherent in this process without sort of confounding those expectations and it's sort of I mean that's also what you want to do as a filmmaker is you want to make your audience sort of reasonably comfortable as you say sort of just you know give them the sense they're about to go on a roller coaster ride or something but then take them somewhere that they never wanted, you know, they never knew that they wanted to go. The original lineup of King Crimson contained a bunch of c**ts, and chief amongst those c**ts was... Can't be the only sane man in this asylum.